Okay, so today we're gonna have a go at modeling the Eames chair, which is sort of an icon of design. I'm a mechanical engineer, so this is my best guess. One of the uh, first things we're gonna do is we're gonna use a canvas. This is uh, gonna allow us to paint by numbers, so to speak. So you can put a canvas in there, and for those of you that have never done it, you need to look up that uh, function, it's very good, and then we're gonna calibrate it. Now that's why I chose this picture, which I downloaded out of the web, because it's got some nice measurements right on it, and I can use them um, to calibrate easily. And it's got two different views on it. So I did it for the front view and the side view, calibrated them, put them in the right place, and then I've got views in all directions. Next, I move into the form environment, and I create a, um, a plane with just enough uh, uh, T-spline surfaces on it, and I move it into the correct position, based on those uh, those scans that I put in before. And um, here, this is basically what we're gonna do for the rest of this exercise. We're gonna push and pull using the modify form command, and we're gonna use these pictures as our visual guidelines. Getting that lip shape on the bottom of the seat was one of the hardest things uh, for me to figure out. And this is how I did it. I actually started with the flat plate and just pulled those side um, elements up, moved the uh, central portion where your, uh, where your seat would be um, a little bit out, made it a little bit flatter at the bottom. And then I um, pulled the back up by changing the pivot point to basically the bottom of where your, where your backside would sit. And then twisting that up as you can see here. This was, um, that actually did take me a little bit to figure that out. Um, watched a bunch of uh, YouTube videos of other people doing this with other softwares and other methods and this is the one that worked well for me. After this, we're basically just looking at pushing and pulling all this stuff around. And uh, for those of you that are not familiar with or not comfortable with the um, edit form command, you need to get there really quickly because this is about 80% of what we do with T-splines. Grab that back end, kind of where your um, lumbar area would be, and I'm using everywhere I can, I'm using these pictures as a guideline. And of course, I've seen an Eames chair in real life because um, these pictures can are not always um, uh, true to form. Um, this becomes very evident later when we do the legs. These pictures are actually incorrect the part um, is not um, actually drawn correctly. Pulling up on the sides to give it more of a bucket feel, you get something that looks like this, quite nice. You, you just work piece by piece and never forget that if you make a mistake and you really, really dislike it, you should always use the undo button um, because in the T-splines environment, we are not working parametrically. You cannot mm, change those forms. This is something nice that people forget. You can select entire lines or even just corners and uh, delete them by pressing the delete key to round this thing off. And then I can compare it to the look of what I see in my um, picture. At this point, it is only a shell and it lacks that kind of, the kind of curled edge that you know uh, Eames chairs have. And this is a really nice trick. By pressing the Alt key and scaling around that outside edge, I can make a series of very small T-splines uh, that go out, and then I can pull outwards, and or, well, actually the scaling pulls it outward, but then I pull it back and down. Of course, this part is still editable. There's no problems here, and I can make it um, a little bit more narrow. After this, I finish the form. I have a shell. And I can thicken this, right? So I can thicken it. I think I thickened it to seven and a half millimeters, something like that. I don't really know what an Eames chair really is. I can't afford one, um, so I can't measure it, but um, this looks pretty good to me. And I've got a nice looking Eamesy kind of form. The nice thing about this is because it's T-splines, because it's fusion, it is still editable. We work parametrically and non-parametrically, design and manufacturing. So I can go in anytime and change that uh, edit that T-spline form and I can begin to bring this thing back into shape. Now that is a lot of information going really fast, but I do hope it's useful and good luck.